and we'll come back. Uh, we will do another uh, problem of uh, circuit uh, reduction. And today we'll learn something new. I will mention it as we progress in the, in the question. So let's again uh, remember together what are the steps we have to follow to do a circuit reduction question. So the first thing we need to identify and number all the nodes. Okay. So what do we want here? We want to find the resistance between A and B. So this is a node. I will call it number one. This is another node. Remember, to identify two different nodes, there should be uh, an element between them. Then here there is a third node. So we have one, two, three. Let's go down. This point and this point, this point and this are the same. Why? Because there is no element between them. So this is number three. And again, this point is also number three. And this is equal to number three because there is nothing here. There is no element there. If there are elements, then we will have different uh, or increase the number of, of nodes. Okay. So identified, number all the nodes. Number two, check for parallel series or a short circuit. Okay. Now for series, two elements has to share one node and nothing else will share this node. Let's see. In node number one, we have one, one, two, three elements. In node number two, we have one, two, three elements. In node number three, we have one, two, three elements. So there is no single node that is shared between two elements and nothing else is sharing this node. So we have every time three elements sharing the node. So there is nothing in, in series. How about in parallel? Parallel when two elements share the two nodes. Let's see. This two kilo ohm resistance, nothing sharing the two nodes with it. But let's talk to this 10 kilo and this 10 kilo. This 10 kilo is between node two and three. And this 10 kilo is also between two and three. So as a matter of fact, this 10 kilo and this 10 kilo, both they are in parallel. What else? This 10 kilo is between node one and node three. And this 10 kilo is also between node one and node three. So these two are also in parallel. So when the, you, the first impression you get, when you look to this 10 kilo ohm and this 10 kilo ohm, you never think that they are in parallel. But once you number the nodes correctly, then you can clearly identify them uh, as uh, parallel or, or series. And here there is nothing in short uh, circuit because a short circuit, as we mentioned, that the two elements or the two nodes of the element will be the same node. So each element, it has two different nodes, so there is no any short, any short circuit. Okay, so now we will redraw the circuit after each reduction. Now, one thing here we would like to learn is that once we identify the parallel and series, one, two, and three, we can sometimes redraw the circuit. This will make it much, much easier. And let's see this. I will start between node one and two. This is node one and node Two, what do we have? We have this two kilo. Now, now node one has 10 kilo and has another 10 kilo connected to it. So as a matter of fact, this and this is connected between one and three. So if I call this node three, so this is one 10 kilo and this 10 kilo. So this 10 kilo is between one and three, and this 10 kilo between one and three, and here it is between one and three. Let's look to the other two kilo ohms. It's between two and three. So I will have one 10 kilo here, another one 10 kilo, and everyone will be sharing the node three. So, and we are looking between these two points. 
So we look this circuit and this circuit, they are equivalent. But this one, the new one, is much easier to visualize. Let's again summarize. These two 10 kilo ohm resistors, each between node one and three, between node one and three, one and three. And the two kilo is between node one and two. And this 210 kilo, the one at the far end, between node two and three. So I'm matching the same sequence, the same order of nodes. So these two circuits are are equivalent, but now this is much easier to, to visualize. So clearly we can see that these two are in parallel. And parallel means 10 times 10 divided by 10 plus 10, and this is give you five kilo. And we mentioned before, when you have two resistors in parallel and each one has the same value, then their summation or their parallel equivalent is equal to half. Same thing here. 10 and 10, we have here 5 kilo ohm. As we mentioned, then redraw the circuit so that you will not be confused at all. So what do we have? We have node 1 and node 2. And this is my 2 kilo. But now here I will have what? My 5 kilo. And here I will have another 5 kilo. And here is my point A and B. Now things become much easier. Now this 2 kilo and this 5 kilo, exactly they are in series why because they share one node and nothing else sharing these two nodes. so these two i can add them together so we will have two plus five seven kilo and then here we have five kilo and i want to have between a and b now this five kilo and this seven kilo they are in parallel so the r between a and b is equal to 5 times 7 divided by 5 plus 7, and this is approximately 2.99 kilo. Okay, so we learn one thing here that sometimes, even without reduction, redrawing the circuit can make it much easier for your eye to visualize and then becomes a trivial problem. If you couldn't see this sometimes, then once you even if you realize this 10 and 10 in parallel how to add them where to add them sometimes it, it, may, it may mess the problem however when you redraw it like this before you doing any reduction that can help you a lot in the circuit reduction uh, let's go now and let's have a look i build the circuit and let's see uh, what is the equivalent resistance if i connect an ohm meter between point a and point Uh, this is the circuit I built. So this is the 10 kilo ohm at the top. This is another 10 kilo ohm connected to another 10 kilo ohm. And here is the 2 kilo ohm resistance. And here is the 10 kilo ohm resistance. And we are taking the resistance between this point and that and that point. So let's see what is the equivalent resistance here between these two points. As you can see, it's around 2.9 kilo ohm. 